The Indian Army is trading in its mules and horses for AI-powered robots. In a very short amount of time, the world's most populous country has moved its early four-legged robotic prototypes to production. In cooperation with the country's blossoming startup ecosystem, India's military is aggressively scaling its army of robotic dogs. And the world is taking notice. During the recent Army Day parade in Pune, the Indian Army highlighted the rapidly advancing progress of its quadrupedal unmanned ground vehicles. The quadrupeds could play a critical role in ongoing border disputes with China, which is also rapidly assembling an army of robot dogs. You heard that right. China is deploying robotic weapons along the border with India. There are machine guns on wheels. And they can be fired with a remote control. Beijing. They're especially useful in regions where environmental conditions, rugged terrain, and extreme weather limit the use of traditional vehicles and drones. With AI-driven cameras, LiDAR, and thermal sensors, the quadrupeds offer around-the-clock surveillance and autonomous patrolling. They can be armed with small weapons or used for medical evacuations. There are just too many benefits for the Indian Army to continue relying on livestock. Now let's take a closer look at the quadrupeds transforming India's military as the country establishes itself as a global leader in robotics. What would you call this? You would call it a dog, you would call it a robo, or you would call it a mule. The fact is that this system is something that the Indian Army has already inducted in. New Delhi-based AeroArc has been instrumental in supplying India's military with cutting-edge quadrupedal robots. The Indian Army ordered an initial 100 military-grade quadrupeds from the company in September 2023. Established in 2019, AeroArc makes advanced aerial drones and ground robots. The robotic dogs they're developing for military applications are called mules, short for multi-utility legged equipment. They're intended for dangerous tasks like perimeter security, asset protection, hazardous material handling, bomb disposal, and intelligence gathering. Weighing 51 kilos, the mule quadrupeds carry up to 12 kilos and have a battery life up to 20 hours. The mules operate autonomously or via remote control. What we can do is we can arm him, we can send them in to identify what the threat is, to eliminate the threat if need be, and all of this while at the safety of not harming any of our very important soldiers. Equipped with advanced sensors and NVIDIA processors, the robot reached top speeds of 3 meters per second or almost 7 miles per hour. They operate in temperatures ranging from 45 to 55 degrees Celsius. AeroArc boasts the robot's intuitive setup process that only takes about 15 minutes. Edith Defense Systems, founded in August 2021, specializes in Indian homeland security, defense, and tactical response tech. Headquartered in Navi, Mumbai, Edith Defense integrates artificial intelligence, computer vision, and sensor fusion into its offerings to enhance threat detection and response capabilities. The startup introduced its quadrupedal robot, the Black Panther, in 2024. The Black Panther traverses challenging terrains, including snow-covered ground, rough landscapes, mountainous regions, and steppes. Equipped with advanced cameras and sensors, the quadruped conducts real-time monitoring and reconnaissance for surveillance missions and can be outfitted with small arms for combat operations. The Black Panther is developed entirely in-house by Edith Defense with domestically sourced components. Zen Technologies tailored its robotic dog, Prahasta, for commandos in counterinsurgency operations. The name Prahasta signifies strength, strategy, and battlefield dominance. The quadruped, developed in collaboration with Zen subsidiary AI Touring Technologies, uses LiDAR and reinforcement learning to create real-time three-dimensional terrain maps for enhanced mission planning, navigation, and threat assessment. It overcomes obstacles and carries loads up to 80 kilograms. Compatible with various caliber weapons, Prahasta is built for first-line duty defense in combat scenarios. 
Established in 1993, Hyderabad-based Zen Technologies' range of products include live fire and virtual training simulators, anti-drone systems, and remote-controlled weaponry. Wearav Robotics unveiled India's first armed quadrupedal unmanned ground vehicle in January 2024, a little more than a year after its establishment. The Kakanada-based startup specializes in robots for homeland security, national defense, and industrial applications. Its robotic dog, Shvana, reaches speeds up to 1.5 meters per second and carries up to 10 kilograms. Supporting LTE and RF communications, its operational range is from 5 to 8 kilometers. It runs continuously for 90 to 120 minutes. The quadruped features vision and sound-based navigation, onboard digital signal processing, and the ability to follow predetermined paths or missions. The robots can be programmed to return home to self-charge. Svea Robotics introduced India's first indigenously built quadrupedal robot in May 2023. The Hyderabad company developed the homebred robotic dog in collaboration with the Defense Research and Development Organization. The robot, which carries up to 25 kilos, is designed to recognize terrorist activities and detect unsafe locations by capturing visuals that can be monitored remotely. Svea, a notable player in India's growing robotic sector, specializes in industrial and collaborative robots to work alongside humans. Adverb Technologies, a global robotics leader backed by Reliance Industries, introduced its first quadruped, Tracker, in July 2024. The Tracker robotic dog features 12 actuators for precise and responsive movement control across terrains. Four stereo cameras enhance its navigation and situational awareness with detailed visual information. Its design provides a comprehensive view of its surroundings from multiple angles. With optional pressure sensors, Tracker can detect and respond to environmental changes. Adverb designed Tracker to operate in environments too hazardous or difficult for humans to access. Founded in 2016, Adverb began with mobile robots and gradually expanded to industrial and medical applications. It has a research center in Silicon Valley focused on advanced robotics. Adverb employs nearly a thousand people globally. Reliance bought a majority stake in Adverb in 2022 for $132 million. Adverb also plans to produce 100 initial humanoid robots in 2025. To stay up to date as India's robotics industry advances rapidly, make sure to subscribe. For a rundown of the quadrupedal robots leading the pack in China, check the related video.